Okay, so I found that most shampoos are drying on my hair. So make sure that you use a sulfate-free shampoo and just check the natural food aisle. And I'm sure you'll find lots of brands. The brand that I use is Shea Moisture. Okay, tip number two is to use conditioner. That might sound kind of obvious, but many people had different type of hair before their Parkinson's, now have dry hair. Tip number four, protect your hand scalp with a hat that will not absorb the natural oils in your hair. Tip number five, do not use those medicated over-the-counter shampoos like Head & Shoulders. Like many people, I find that those don't really work too well and make my scalp drier. I usually use a natural shampoo that's unscented and put my own essential oils in it. Using heat appliances like your blow dryer or flat iron or curling iron just makes you get drops so avoid that, that would be great. Okay, so with hot oil treatment, you want to use a natural oil like olive oil or coconut oil or safflower oil. Those are three common oils that usually you can find in a grocery store. You want to apply it to your hair and then you want to use one of those plastic caps and then you're going to add a towel and put it on your hair as long as you can, up to an hour, and then you're going to shampoo it out. Tip number eight, you may need to wash your hair less than you used to when it wasn't so dry. Once a week is recommended now. Tip number nine, try not to scratch your scalp. This is only going to make your scalp worse. If you do have an itch, why don't you try to apply a few drops of an oil on that area and see if it relieves the itch. What do you do instead of using heat? Try to dry your hair naturally if you can. And if that's not possible, try to reduce your heat setting on your appliances, your hair dryer especially, and your curling irons. And another thing that you can do is just cut the time that you're using the heat appliance or the times that you're curling your hair each week.